Hello, hello, hello there. Welcome to the program of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor, all the way from Minnesota, USA. First and foremost, I want to greet you in the name of Jesus. And I also want to thank God for you for the time you take to listen and to watch, to say the word of encouragement and even to share with others. And if you have not been doing it by faith, I believe you continue to do that in Jesus' name. If you have not started, you will start. I also want to take this opportunity to thank God Father, for the grace he bestows upon me to share this word because it's just by his grace. I always like to say I'm not the best, but I'm available. I'm not the most qualified, but I'm available. So there is a word I want to leave you with, inspire you with, and challenge you with. Are you available for God? Are you willing? Are you obedient? I sing a song and said, Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus Christ than to trust and obey. Obedience is better than sacrifice in the eyes of the Lord. If you obey, you shall eat the fruit of the Lord. If you obey, you'll do exploits for your God. In Jesus' name, in this world we are in, because we have been commissioned, each one of us, as long as we believe in the Lord. Uh, my weekly schedule, uh, Monday through Wednesday, I bring inspirational word, thus this celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence. Fridays, putting on the right gear for the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, I can take a break or bring you random inspirational message. Today's message will be, the title of my message, if you'll be writing, is, The Lord Will Strengthen You. The Lord Will Strengthen You. I'll be basing the, my sharing from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 17 and 18. I'll read in both New King James Version and also NIV. And I want to start with a word of prayer in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you and to adore you for your goodness and for your mercies that endure forever. Thank you for the privilege of sharing your word. Father God, use me as a vessel. May my, the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee, O God. That as I share this word, it will be watered by the Holy Spirit. And it goes forth to the hearts of, of my brother and my sister. It shall be like a seed that will be watered in, their, in his or her heart or by, in, 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 the, in the soil. But, and watered by the Holy Spirit to bring forth the fruit of encouragement, fruit of preparation, fruit of equipping in Jesus' name. And I'm also not ignorant of this of Satan devices that he comes to distract your people that they cannot hear the, your word. I come against him now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And for me, your servant, I dip myself in the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet that I may minister under that anointing. I lift you high up to your Lord because you say that if you are lifted up, you shall do men unto yourself. Do one in what you can do and no glory and honor shall be to your name. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. The Lord will strengthen you. The Lord will be your strength. Hear what the word of God says. Let me first of all read if, uh, from New King James, uh, from NIV. It says, that is uh, Isaiah, oh, sorry, uh, 2 Timothy 4, 17, 18. It says, but the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was delivered from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord will deliver you. The Lord will deliver me. The Lord will deliver us. Why should he deliver us? He wants to deliver us so that we can proclaim the message of the cross that he has commissioned us to do. You know, sometimes we gain some favor and we think it's just by coincidence or maybe it's just because of our family. God gives us the victory. God blesses us so that we can be a blessing and also be ambassadors, the light ambassadors into this, in this kingdom. And uh, before I continue, I want to sing a song, Kumanye Boy Nishi Number 354 is a uh, God was reminding me of this word. I was reminded of this song and I have to sing it. It is in 354 it says, 
The Lord will strengthen you. The Lord will strengthen you, my brother, my sister. The battle may seem like it's more, but the Lord will deliver you. One of the things I like about the word of God is it never contradicts itself. In this song I sang, it says that it, God can glorify himself in times of bad and in times of good. Hey? Now, the Lord being your strength, the Lord who will strengthen you. I want to now read from New King James Version. It says, but the Lord stood with me. The Lord is going to start with you. Whatever you are going with, through, the Lord will start with you. And strengthened me. He, this was Apostle Paul who was writing. God strengthened him. God is going to strengthen you. God our strength will strengthen you. So that the message, listen here. Paul, Apostle Paul was strengthened. Why? Why are you being strengthened? Like Paul. So that the message might be preached fully through me. So that that assignment can be done, completed in you, in me. Can you take this word to be yours? And that all the Gentiles might hear. So that everybody might hear. The Bible says clearly that this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all men, to all nations. Then the end will come. You have an assignment to do so that God can move to the next step. You are the tools of God. When we maguru magai, when we moko magai, when we mwabo agai. Hey, also I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. A lion is a very fierce animal, fierce animal. It is not the biggest, but it's very courageous and very quick to destroy. My brother, my sister, God says he will deliver you from the mouth of a lion. Any danger, any difficulty you could be going through, you can try to reckon it with the mouth of a lion, but God has promised to, to, to deliver you. But he's not just delivering you to be there, just to enjoy. He is ready to deliver you so that you can deliver the message. Hey. And the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. Hallelujah. The deliverance God gives us is for his glory so that the kingdom can be furthered. Remember when Hannah was crying. 
God knew there was something because the Bible says very clearly that the Lord had crossed her womb. There could be a womb that has been crossed by God for you in your life so that you can go through the spicing by a penina. I do not know what kind of a penina you could be having. It could be a penina of sickness. It could be a penina of being discouraged. It could be a penina of being forsaken by your own. But listen to me. When you do something, like I've been saying, there is a book I'm reading. It's called Do Something. When you do something, and not just cry, 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 baby. Hannah before he real, she realized what was going on, she was really sorrowful. You might have been sorrowful. Me, I've been sorrowful. There are many times I get sorrowful, and because I'm a child of God, it doesn't matter how old you are, we are still children of God. Because I'm a child of God, there are things I go through and I don't realize and I complain. But as time goes by, as the time goes by, God refused to me. I was doing this for the, for the glory of my name. That when you come through it, you'll be able to know it was not because of your strength, but because of my strength in you. By and by, when that morning comes, when all the saints of God, of God are gathered home, we will tell of the story of how we overcame. We will understand it better by and by. Whatever difficulty you could be going through, I want to remind you that the Lord will strengthen you. The Lord is your strength. The Lord strengthened Hannah to go to the temple. And when she went to the temple, little did she know that she would be crushed all the more by the servant of God who was there, high priest. It doesn't matter who you have put your trust in, they can discourage you the last minute. The eleventh hour. It's such a time that's why you need to hold on to God and know He is going to strengthen you, He is going to remove you from that lion's mouth. A lion's mouth, oh, when you hear it being mentioned, it's not a comfortable thing. What you could be going through might not be very comfortable. Your family, your marriage, your health, your career could be in trouble. But God will strengthen you during that time. Another singer sang and said, Jesu hi nyawakwa Jesu hi nyawakwa Daida gyago kwehoka Igosyo de oreda You can sing, Jesus my strength. Help me to trust you because every time you are merciful. Jesu hi nyawakwa Yes. Jesu hi nyawakwa ye. Daida gyago kwehoka. Hi gosyo de oreda. Hi nyatio toga wade. Hi nyatio gima wamwere. Hi nyatio kiko kela. Jesu newe hi nyato ine. Jesu hi nyawakwa weno ine. Jesu hi nyawaku ke gudi kanye Jesu hi nyawaku Jesu hi nyawaku we Menyaga ni are go taidagia todo he goes yo the aleta his mercies are new every morning his loving kindness is forever and ever when you feel discouraged because discouragement will be there all the time. Because Jesus prayed for his disciples and said, Father, I do not pray that you remove them from the world, but give them the power to overcome. God has the power, had the power, or can have the power to keep us isolated from the world of trouble and discouragement. But he wants us to live here so that we can be a testimony. But when we go through it, we'll say, Mother Nini Araho no Kirie. God has delivered me from that mouth of the lion. God has delivered me from that sickness, and that's why I can call him Jehovah Rapha, God who heals. God has delivered me from that financial need, and that's why I can call him right now Jehovah Jireh. You know, sometimes we hear the message of the 
of the Lord through his servants and prophetic message or through prayer and then you think God is going to come in the speed or maybe in the timing of your own limitation as a human being. But let me tell you it is Ra Asha. When God promises he will fulfill but you will do something. You will do the believing, you will do the trusting, you will do the waiting. Yes. There are many times I've had prophetic word and I take it to be mine, but there is my part to do something. There is something you must do. You must trust God. You must commit yourself to God. You must be determined to encourage yourself in the Lord. We are living in times that, it, that, that when every person is learning for their own gain, you must learn to know at a gainua wawe kirahinya. The Lord will strengthen you. The Lord will deliver you. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah chapter 31. Woe unto them that go to Egypt for help. For Egyptians are men and not God. The last minute. Do not always learn to the men of this world. To the people of this world. They can let you down the last minute. But God will never let you down. I sing a song and sing it. Jesus never fail. Jesus never fail. The people of this world may let you down, but Jesus never fail. Your friend may let you down. Your friend may let you down. The people of this world may let you down, but Jesus never fail. You are children may let you down. You are children may let you down. The people of this world may let you down, but Jesus never fail. Jesus never fail. Jesus never fail. The people of this world may let you down, but Jesus never fail. Jesus who never fail is the one I'm reminding you today that he'll protect you, that he'll deliver you from the mouth of the lion, that he'll strengthen you in the time of trouble. When trouble comes, where are you used to running? You know, I remember many times that, you know, we are used to saying, Wei mamie, nyoko wangyo kadagi wote idia. Wei fafai. Kapo wanyo nyoko kadagi wote idia. I don't know why I don't know why I don't know why I don't know why I don't know but you know because there is something about our parents who God uses to bring us into this world and especially the mothers my brother and my sister but God can help you I'm here to remind you the Lord will strengthen you I'm here to remind you to put your trust in the Lord I'm here to remind you whatever you go through know that the Lord will come and he will strengthen you that's why the Bible says that the weak say they are strong. When you feel you are weak, know that you are weak, but he is strong. I am weak, but he is strong. When you know that you are weak and he is strong, you will be able to go through it. When you know that people can forsake you the last minute, you learn to the Lord. Who do you learn to during the time of trouble? Who do you call when things are not turning all well? Who do you call when you go to that doctor and the results you are waiting in those days, they tell you they are going to call you within the next one week and then you don't know. There was a time I had a procedure not long ago. And the doctor said, yes, we'll call you with the result. In that time, let me tell you, I did. I purpose to do something to contradict my humanity. I served God more. I remember even on the time of the day of procedure, the doctor had told me for the next 24 hours not doing anything and for about four weeks I was not to lift up like more than 10 pounds but I tell you I saw the heart of God. I didn't care if the result how it would come because I knew God was in control. When you know, when you have the perspective, the positive perspective, that God is still in control. That's why I had to sing that song. Because 
I want to read, uh, sing that song again, 354, and I didn't mean to repeat it again. Hey, hallelujah. Iyo kiyari akune inene, oname ito kiyore meige, ya kurathi mananige koruma. Yuke nago gika vega noga keno gika o, unudusio the newe huja yena shio. When we are going difficult times, God will still glorify himself because he never departs from his, from his throne. Let me tell you there are times that you don't even need to share with any, anybody. I did not even share what was going on with people because sometimes, you know, I was patient before God. And even within less than the seven days, the doctor had said, the doctor called me and said, I have good news for you. I had already gotten conviction from the Lord whether the results were to be bad or not, that God was still on the throne. What is what that you are waiting for? What is that you are going through? And you've been wondering, what is going to happen? You know, some people will start even like, they, they, they think they are going to die the next minute and they are going to start thinking this. Let me tell you, I was more passionate more. I was passionate more for the Lord because I knew in times of trouble, he remains to be God. In times of goodness, he remains to be good. When there is thick and thin, he remains to be good. I remember even those times I did doubles and before. And I looked at the hours that I had worked. One time, you know, even though the doctor had told me to rest, I went to work and I almost called my supervisor to t say not to be given some duties. But all of a sudden I wondered, why should I call my supervisor? Let me call my God. And I called my God and when I went to work, let me tell you. Lord, I'm telling to you that he will strengthen you. That he's a faithful God. I went and met God had already gone there. Perspective, how you take things. Guide me to Delhi, Chicago. Our God is faithful. Be strengthened in the Lord. We cannot get here in our mother. Who come and take a year out or leave him out, Master Mother. Never the Hotaku who yak you walk yaki. I want to read those words again. And as I read my brother, my sister, be encouraged to know. Ate gayari hamwena ana dagago tiganeria. And I, the first part, first of that chapter four says, "This is Paul who told the, his spiritual son Timothy, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at His appearing and His kingdom. Preach the word. Oh, hallelujah." Be ready in season and out of season. It was out of my season as I was waiting to hear the result from the doctor. But I preached with passion. With a passion. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all wrong suffering and teaching. I want to charge you as my fear and my reason now. Do the work of the ministry. Do the work of serving God. Whether you are at work or at home, serve God. Not every person may, ask, may, may approve, you know, appreciate what you do, but do it for the glory of God in the name of Jesus because he is your strength. But the Lord stood with me. God will stay, st stand with you, my brother, my sister. And strengthen me. He strengthened me. He will strengthen you. This is a testimony. So that the message might be preached fully through me. So that the message of the cross may be preached through you. You are saying you cannot be able to preach. If you cannot preach, you can pray for Pastor Florence to be able to deliver these messages. If you cannot be able to preach, you can be able to support the ministry. If you cannot be able to preach, you can be able to pray. If you cannot be able to preach, you can be able to support the ministers of the gospel, not necessarily me. And that all the Gentiles might hear. There are some people who are waiting to hear testimony of encouragement. A friend of mine told me what they are going through. One of the family members have been diagnosed with, the, uh, with cancer. As I was checking how uh, the family member was doing, uh, that, that friend, I'm trying to refrain myself to saying the Jedi told me, you know, the situation has changed. The cancer has been spreading very fast and it has gone to stage four. Or I told that friend of mine, start the farm 
and you being my prayers. My brother, my sister, preach the word, encourage, share. Be ready to be vulnerable for somebody to be encouraged. I shared of my going, what I was passing through so that you can be encouraged. I don't know it was for your sake that I, may, I, I shared that. I, when I was preparing this message, I did not plan on sharing that. There are things we plan and others we don't. And that's why people who don't know how the Spirit of God is can say, Oh, tida, okay, yaura, niyaku, yaura, niyaku, thin, yin, yin, daga. The Spirit of God will guide me and I'm not going to resist. Be strengthened. Hinyawaku, your strength will be the Lord. Jesu hinyawakwa. Jesu hinyawakwa. Deida gyago kwehoka. Igosyo dorida. Our God who is faithful. Day and night. January through December will strengthen you. In times of pain, he will be with you. In times of luck, he will provide. In times of loneliness, he will comfort you. Open another page of trusting the Lord. Open another page of knowing that God is going to be with you according to the word of, of, of him in, in Isaiah 43, verse 19. And there is a song that I have sung about that. Open a new page, Lord. He got a page again more than me. May the Lord open another page of your positivity. As God gave me the word for the year 2023 about perspective. It's all about perspective. How will you see things? Mwanero wakua maudu, my brother, my sister, means a lot. When you open that other page, nyuko manyate gainyara wekira maudu mega. God is doing a new thing in your life. God will do a new thing. In your marriage. God will do a new thing in your strength. God will do a new thing, my sister, my brother. Let us run to trust the Lord. Open a new page. He got a page. Yes. Open a new page. He got a page. He got a page. He go ra peje ge ni go nyo newe Gai he go ra, he go ra peje ge He go ra peje ge He go ra peje ge ni go nyo newe Open a new page lo Open a new page lo Open a new page lo That I may fight peace Open a new page, Lord. Open a new page, Lord. Open a new page, Lord. That I may find joy. Open another page of trusting the Lord. Open another page of knowing that your strength will come from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I've given your word to that brother, to that sister. Holy Spirit, take over. If there is any word that I spoke out of the contents that you wanted me to give my father, filter it that your people, your, your people and your child out there will only get that which you purpose them to hear for the glory and honor of thy name. I pray, O oh God, that revelation knowledge will continue in this word as I proceed to give, more, to give me more uh, revelation in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. As I wind up. You have heard this message and you say, woman of God, did you know what I was going through? I do not know. But God who knows you, God who knew before you are formed in your mother's womb, gave me this message for your sake. So it's, your, it, it's up to you now. You take it as an individual because it does not matter how strong, how powerful a message is. And in the multitude of many people, God always speaks to us as individuals, even in the multitude of people. God has spoken to you through this word. Take it as yours. Run with it in Jesus' name. And so as I wind up, I want to ask you, have you trusted the Lord? Have you committed all to him? Have you given him your all? Have you given him all your life? Have you done like I have sung that I give it all to the Lord? Your struggles, you give them to the Lord. I give it all. 
I give it all. I give it all unto Jesus. My struggles, Lord, I give them all. I give them all unto Jesus. My marriage, Lord, I give it all. I give it all unto Jesus. My children, Lord, I give them all. I give them all unto Jesus. Can you be able to give it all to the Lord? I do not want to continue preaching, but let me tell you. As a mother, there are times I go through situations, even with my kids, and I, I just let, let go and let God. And lo and behold, God works behind the scenes. And I see this was God, and he makes sure he does not hide me the secret. It is this God I am introducing you to, that you can trust him. Say, come into my life. Open another page, Lord. Help me to trust you. Write my name in the book of life. If you're in that category, do you want to say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. Thank you for your word. I am here. I repent of my sins. Forgive me, dear Lord. And especially the burdens that I take I carry unnecessarily give me stress and pressure. Lord, forgive me. Write my name in the book of life, dear Lord. And give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life, declaring the goodness of the Lord in this land of the living. Because that's why God is strengthening you. He's your strength so that you can bear, you can share the message of the cross to the world. The world is waiting for you. Somebody is waiting to be encouraged. The way you are going to be encouraged by this message. God has made you see, hear this message so that you can be a blessing to other people I cannot be able to reach. May the Lord God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. Again, I want to remind you of my weekly schedule Monday through Wednesday. I bring you inspirational word. That's this celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence. Fridays putting on the right gear for the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, I can take a break or bring you random inspirational messages. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to check on my book Fear Not God is in Charge. Remember to check on my music. I have recorded 45 songs in a simple flash drive. The price is $40. Let me know if you need that and we can arrange uh, the way of delivery. My book, you can get it on Google Books, Amazon or from the uh, from the publishers webplace.com or you can get a hard copy from me. It would be my joy for me to send that copy it, 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 and I will sign it. The price is $15. I can pay the postage stamp for you if you postage expenses if you send me the the address. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember, the Lord is your strength. He will strengthen you. He will deliver you so that you can declare the message of the cross. May the Lord God bless you. Celebrate every moment, not just celebrating. Celebrating it with joy. Why? Every moment matters. Every moment counts. 